they were speaking an Aztec language. Their language comes from Aztec. And Aztec is coming from Nahuatl. And Nahuatl is coming from Olmec, who were, uh, who were also speaking that language, Nahuatl. So that Nahuatl language is coming from Olmec, but they uh, they spoke that language as well, because we are the forefathers. So they also spoke that language, right? And when they spoke that language, Hopi people that we see down in the Arizona and all of that, right? They were speaking Aztec as well. Okay? And those people really came from Chiapas and Palenque in the old Reed or old Red City. They are coming from that um, and it goes back to their legends and their traditions where they came from. So they migrated down there because we were originally down there. And they worship us in the form of Cocopelli who has what you call uh, locks in his hair. And who wears locks today? Who, who does that? You know, that's a symbol of the original Moorish American over here. Okay, so we represent their God. They know that. But it's not usually promoted because, again, being usually promoted would prove and make their society that they form collapse even much more quicker. Which they are, which that's not in their best interest. So they don't do that. Okay. So when we're talking about the we are the Canaan Israel, because we are, we're talking about we are those people, the chosen people. Okay. Rather it says that in the Bible and now that that symbolic metaphor that represents those Moorish Americans here specifically of the North America who is sitting on the throne of rulership that North American uh, so-called Negro but uh, realistically is a Moorish American that man that original man right there that's what we're talking about now those Hebeshi and Syracans and all of that those Moors in the East Again, they're coming from the Umayyad and the Abbasid Caliphate when all of that is talking about both uh, sides of the world across the Atlantic. It's talking about down in um, all of that, man. Spain, Portugal, the uh, north, Af- north part of continental Africa. Okay, so talking about Tunis, Algeria, Morocco, Egypt, Turkey, Italy all of the Iraq and so on and so forth Iran all of that was underneath Omayyad right and Omayyad was connected to the Maghrib okay so when the when when the Omayyad was connected to the Maghrib that's when you were ruling both sides man that, that was the, uh, that was part that's all another name for the Al Moroccan Empire that we that we are talking about, man. So I was talking about that, and then when the Omayyad collapsed, when they contracted, it went to the Abbasid Caliphate, Caliphate, and they were ruling Iraq. That that was mainly the capital, Iraq, Damascus, Syria. That was mainly the capital, right? So when you're talking about that now, you're talking about the Hebishi or the Habashi, those Moors, those so-called Ethiopian Moors, they are, who are really Abyssinians, those Moors are coming from the Abbasid Caliphate, the Umayyad Caliphate, okay, so that's where they're coming from, and that's all connected to us over here in the Maghrib, and that was all once a El Moroccan Empire, because that's why you have the Morocco and the Morocco over there you have Maharak a lot of those names that is referring to the empire you have remnants that still found over there and we can show you the facts okay that's not a problem but the thing that we are making a, an example is that that's all connected and they were all connected with Ruth the Ruti because ancient Egypt was over here as well not just over down there and we were all connected okay so this is like going a long time ago and th- but again if you check this out 
This was all going down during the time of Muhammad's peace be upon him, 622, uh, common era. Umayyad and the Abbasid Caliphate, we were all rocking, as you would say. We were all doing that. We were all uh, ruling on both sides of the globe.